using hikmah and knowing when to speak out and when to be silent, weighing up the harms and benefits. Question come from South London with regards to when do you teach the people, use wisdom, when do you speak out, enjoying the good, forbid the evil, outweighing the harms and the benefits. I don't agree with the question at all. The question doesn't make sense to me at all. There's no contradiction or clash between the two. When you keep silent, when you speak, everything is based off of wisdom. When you are harsh in your dawah, it's wisdom. When you're soft, it's wisdom. When you don't say something about haram act in the masjid or a bid'ah or this imam and this one, that's wisdom. And when you do speak, you speak wisdom. The believer doesn't move without wisdom. There's no gear in your gearbox except that it's based off of wisdom. Wisdom is the lifeblood of the caller to Allah. Allah says, call to the way of your Lord with hikmah. So everything that you do has to be based off of wisdom. And if you don't say something about an act, it doesn't mean that you're not using wisdom. When you do say something about an act, you don't act recklessly. You do it with what? Wisdom. So then it, there's, there's never a time in which you as a caller to Allah are immune to wisdom. Abedin. Everything that you do has to be based off of strategic wisdom. Everything. That's the true call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no recklessness, there's no impulsiveness. Everything is based off of wisdom. And Allah knows best. However, Allah gives wisdom to whom He wills. And Allah knows best.